<laughs> back in back in action. And hey, read it again from the top, just for the new video. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, I like the. You can't read it enough. Hey, listen up to the scripture, y'all. Y'all gotta listen. Sirach 22 13. Talk not much with a fool. Talk not much with a fool. So anybody come out, I'll talk. All oh, the Bible's bullshit. You're a fool. Okay, we ain't trying to hear that. Go ahead. And go not to him that have no understanding. Go. If you ain't got no understanding, then I'm not trying to talk to you. A lot of y'all don't know nothing about history. You know, you don't y'all don't even know when the Roman Empire existed. Y'all don't know nothing. See, y'all don't know ten. That was a different timeline. Yeah, y'all don't even know no timeline. <laughs> y'all don't know no English words, no etymologies. Y'all don't know any definitions. You don't even know what the word etym who out here knows what the word etymology means? We got any takers? What does the word etymology mean? Does anybody know? You don't know. That's a great American. Oh, that is Satan. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Have a Frodo. No, nobody out here really knows what etymology means. <laughs> not, not a single one of them. No. Oh, stupid. Oh, each and every one of them. That's, that's just, if he was in China, he'd probably ask that. Everybody put it Yeah, everybody put their hand up. Like, Hold on, me know that. That's a la la. Dumbest people ever. That's why. That's why everybody says around the world, America's the dumbest place ever. They do, don't they? That's yeah. Okay. They sure do. It's true. That's stupid. Don't you ever wonder? That's fun, guys. Guys, free entertainment for us. <laughs> so we get look. We get look at your dumb asses all day. Who beast? <laughs> Who beast? Good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna stay on this scripture all day. <laughs> but it's funny because I see why they're <laughs> Yeah, they brute beast. You know? And imagine a time of survival. That really comes out, man. No, don't won't, you know? They got their shows that broadcast it like the man in, man against wild or being grills or they show it, man, how oh, type of brute beast they are, man. Oh no. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 No no tap. You know what, no tap. You know what whole tap means? No tap. No tip. Oh, <laughs> that's when they want them fool, don't be mad. That's that no, 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 no. Yeah, That's that no tip. <laughs> no, yeah, the whole tip. That's the yeah, the host. That's the whole tip. Fuck a whole tip. Well, whole tip. That's just Egyptian. It means peace. That's what it means. That's that's, 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 that's like the Egyptian equivalent of uh, Shalawan. Oh, tip. Whole tip. That don't even sound right. Is that what we call them bitches now? Whole tip. Yo, I was at whole tip. Filthy conversation. Man, my, my girl a whole tip. Whole tip. <laughs> That's some funny. Okay. Let's read that again. Let's get these scriptures. We read free for the top. I'm not in no rush. He says, "Talk not much with the food." Going out to him to have no understanding. So, oh, listen. Hey, the Bible says, talk not much with a fool. Read that again. Talk not much with a fool. Talk, I'm sorry. Talk not much with a fool. Go ahead. Hey, no, that, that don't worry. Just, just hey, he was in a, he had places to go. I'm trying to get this fear. They see this as fear. It's fear. He ain't special. Go ahead. He's a fool. It says, he didn't say shalom right. He said shalom and shalom wam. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. Go ahead. He says, go not to him to have no understanding. Beware go. of him. Oh, I'm sorry. Go not to him to have no understanding. You got to beware of him. So we got to beware of all y'all. Ain't no, they, where's the understanding out here? Who got all the knowledge out here? He says, beware of him. Yeah. Yeah. Beware of him. You really got to meditate on that's that. A yeah. oh, that's a warning. Yeah. That's a warning. It ain't just a warning about these motherfuckers that say something. It's the shit they do. Fucking brute fucking beast. Brute beast. That's a natural brute beast. Listen, he saw on the... On natural. The, he saw on the track. These run funny cells. <laughs> these people out here are gone. They go and get the rest of that. You used to have trouble, and thou shalt never be disqualified with his foolers. Depart from him, and that's our fine rest, and never be disquieted with madness. Yeah, yeah you feel with madness. That's all they talk about is madness, foolishness. Like, you ever get, like, we, 
I mean, we live in a country, if you look up a definition of a word, they call you a weirdo. Wow, well, you're a fucking weirdo. You're looking up definitions. You ain't making that up. Like, they, they look at you like this. You're off in the head because you look something up. Like, there's something wrong with it. This guy, he's looking shit up and talking about meetings and words. They get, they get mad, too, when you have, like, a standard for your life. You have rules and set of goals and shit. They just want you, they just want you to be like them and do yep. whatever. They want you to be like them. No, oh, they, and they, like, every, like, I've been talking to people about work and shit, talking about health and stuff and shit like that. And, no, I don't care, it doesn't matter. You know, they just don't care, like, God damn! Okay. What the hell, I'm gonna get mad at you, you know? Like I said, that's some type of standard for yourself. There you go. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what a fucking band does. You gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have integrity, you gotta have, uh, you know what Right, you gotta have morals, you gotta have order, order. Like you said, standards for yourself. These people, hey, these people's standards are very low. Here you go, Exodus 32 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Yeah. Yeah, people, you want to do something just because everybody else is doing it. Well, everybody else is going to fucking go to hell. Which means, I got to say it like that. They're going to get burned up in that fire. They're going to eat missiles. You know what I mean? Why you won't follow these people? What? Everybody won't be accepted. Why? You know how everybody won't be, you know, be popular, be accepted. People won't be famous in this world. Like why? Why you won't be famous and be loved by these assholes? You know? What kind of joy is in that? Oh, all your fans are a bunch of stupid idiots. A bunch of morons. Why do you like the entertainment business? Like. Why would you want to be loved and adored by masses of retards? You know what I mean? I just don't make sense, man. Like you go to a con, you ever been to a concert and you see how everybody's stupid in the audience? Yeah. I mean, people be dumb as hell. It's like it's like it's like if you play. I don't really play video games, but if you like play video games with somebody or like chess or some shit. Do you want to play with somebody that appreciates the game and actually really serious about it or some idiot that's just... Well, they might be teaching you something. They might yeah. teach you something while you're playing. Right, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what people, that's what these famous, that's why these famous people, they're not really famous. They are, they, they are their fans are a bunch of idiots. They don't even preach it. They don't even know nothing about nothing. They just sit on their ass all day and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a fan that, that actually appreciates it, what, appreciate what I do. You know what I'm saying? So on and so on. And have some skills himself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the same mind as me. Instead of just an idiot. What the scriptures say, seek out, seek those that are like thee. Something like that, you know. The scriptures are trying to find people that's like you. Yeah. Especially if you in the right state, you are seeking, seeking the glory, you know, seeking the immortality. You want people like that, the same like you, same mind state, man. Like I said, what the scriptures say, what is a, uh, when it's giving reference to evil and good, what this has to, let me see if I can find it. She got my girl, she got blonde hair. She got beautiful blonde hair. Like, how you get that blonde hair? This is a straight up wig. I bet it's bald. She was, she, was, she was checking this out the whole time. So they're sucking on a lollipop. You know, she likes to do it. You gotta watch her, a woman that's always got a lollipop. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking about actually. That's nasty actually. <laughs> Oh man, they don't fuck around with taxes now. Actually, y'all can keep it. No refund. Shit, fuck a refund. I, I'd, I'd be happy now to get a refund just to see everybody else mad. It's miserable. Motherfucker, you just gonna waste your refund money any damn way. Motherfucker, get a refund and go buy a TV. Like, really? <laughs> you spent a thousand dollars on a TV? That's crazy. Like, don't they like? That's why they should did that last year. Like, shouldn't you still have your same shit? Like, they like keep buying <laughs> new big ass. 
Because they be breaking that yeah. shit. Motherfuckers break. They just not, yeah. They be fighting this shit. The ungodly want man and wife. They be fighting the a lot, man. The woman is breaking. Plus, the woman, she always wants something new anyway. Yeah. Always got to have something new, Spencer man. Spencer Purse some of the purses you bitch me one time. I got fired it out. You see my TV I got? I got, man, I got a 1980 Sony. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, Trinitron. Uh, beautiful. It's a work of art, bro. It's, still, it's a TV that fucking works. From 1980. This motherfucker's a beast. It ain't, it ain't. They've been here since 1980. I, I mean, I gotta get me a new flat screen. I just don't, I don't like paying for that shit, man. Who got money to waste on TVs? We learn how to fix shit, too. See, that's another thing about Jake, man. He's quick to throw everything, especially with a woman. It's something just... You know man, my daughter and her that nigga, the TV was 60. They tore that, wait a minute, wait, two of them, 65 inch and a 50 inch, in the same fight. Damn. PlayStation 4 got liberated. Damn, that shit was a fucking mess. Man, that was like, damn near, they destroyed like two grand worth of shit in one fucking night. Oh, they could go. That's retarded. And then she threw his ass out. <laughs> The woman destroyed everything. Destroyed it. I told you, my fucking baby's mom, I had this big old pictures of me and my sister when we was babies. Like the only one I got. She Damn. shredded that motherfucker. Wow. She took, I was like, bitch is evil. <laughs> bitch is evil, bro. She shredded my memories to pieces. And that, the, the, the big 65 inch TV, I think they paid like $200 for that bitch. Man. Damn. Because it was the that one sucks. that's clear. When you look at that, you think you in that motherfucker, yeah. man. It was one of them. I can never, I can never bring myself to cash. Shit, spend no money like this. I can't wait to get one. All that money, bro. I could. No, buy. I ain't gonna spend that. Cause you know. I'm gonna go find me the deal somewhere. Yeah, that's right. I'm waiting for the deal. Man. Yeah, I'm on the deal. I ain't spend, I ain't gonna spend no more than five though. But I need a new flat screen. My fucking son punched the fucking screen and broke it. <laughs> playing fucking CS:GO or some shit. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm using an old school computer monitor now, like the. Uh, the old square thing. You know what I mean? It's from like the 1980s or so. I ain't got a flat screen no more. I don't need that shit. It's just trash. Yeah, when you got it, it's pretty nice. I believe in Jesus Christ. Yahushua. You know Yahushua? Yeah, Jesus is not, uh, that's what people ignorantly call the Lord. I don't have time, I got to go to work. You ain't got time for the Lord? We understand. We understand, man. We understand. Je yeah, but Jesus don't exist. Right. It ain't real. What are you saying? You got to go to work. He said, I believe in Jesus Christ. No, man, everybody want to ask questions. Where they do that at? People ask questions, then, then, like, then we start talking. Oh, I ain't got time, I got to go. Don't even talk to us, man. Leave me alone. Why right? we was talking about something he messed us up? <laughs> yeah, they ask you a question. You go to talk. Oh, I got time. <laughs> these people are assholes, man. You messing with these people out here, man. Oh, here we go. Ecclesiastes 9 and 2, all things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrifices and to him that sacrifices not. As is the good, so is the sinner. As he that sweareth, as he that feareth and hope. That brings the kind of love this is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live, they said, and after that they go to the dead. They said that evil and madness is in their heart. And the, the word heart in Hebrew really means your mind. So the, what's in people's minds out here is evil and madness. To you evil. But we evil for telling you. If, yeah, if you read the scriptures, though, that makes you evil. If you believe in the Bible, follow the Bible, in this world, that makes you evil. But that's good, though. Oh, I got scripture for that. The people always come up talking about, oh, I'm teaching hatred. 
how. They claim they believe in the Bible, but when we read the Bible, they got a problem with it, you know? Oh, you can't be you know, saying No, it's just the works of the Lord that he creates good and evil. Just the works of the Lord. I got scripture. This work wouldn't be fun if we didn't have the criminals and the For real, though. coming up against us. Really, you're right. You know, that's an accurate statement. You know? I, you know, I like scoffers. I mean, I don't like them, but I like them. Scoffers. Yeah. That's what the scripture says in the last days. Uh, I got scripture, though. Uh, John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it. That the works there of our evil. So like people that okay, they don't hate us, they really hate the Lord and his message. We just teaching the message of the Lord, reading the Bible. So that's why people hate you. You teach the truth, ain't nobody gonna like you. People want oh, hear the Isaiah 30. People want to hear smooth things. They don't want to hear nothing true. They want to give it to me easy. Y'all speaking too loud. Y'all oh, talk too rough. You gotta be eloquent speaker. Yeah. You know, you gotta speak smoothly. I can't speak eloquently. You gotta be full of charisma. Oh, yeah. And money. And you gotta have time. And right. you can't use any cuss words. Right, right. right. Yeah, speak perfect English. Right. With an English accent. But the Lord said, he gonna put a, we gonna do away with that. Eloquent speakers. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures tell you to watch out for the eloquent speakers. So look forward to somebody like the niggas like Farrakhan getting his head blown off by the Lord. Yep, that could happen. All deaths is through the Lord. All death. All death. If it's a child or an old ass son of a bitch, it's the Lord that's killing yep. them. Man. It's hey. the Lord that sanctions those deaths. Yes, sir. So like I said, we're praying for anyway. A wicked motherfucker like Farrakhan kind of guy, man. A wicked son of a bitch. This nigga call himself a Muslim, but he's reading about the Bible. Folks out the Bible. That's blasphemy. Who beats? That's a mixing the profane with the uh, trying to mix the holy with the profane. Right. Check this out. This is Peter Shirak 33 and 15. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liking him best. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner. Oh, yeah. Like you said, you got to have the ungodly. Right. We don't have no way to curse out. And the sinner against the godly. So who's the godly then? If we ain't that, who is? That, you know? It don't exist. <laughs> right, it don't exist, exactly. <laughs> you know, whether the motherfuckers like it or not, man, we are the God. Who's out, who else is out here teaching the word? Working, laboring. You might see Jehovah's Witness stand on that corner right there, maybe for about... <laughs> Sitting there quiet as hell. <laughs> come around, they would be out here in the, not in the winter, they would be out here in the springtime, summer. they would be out there for about 15 minutes, you know. Yeah, they're passing out comic books and pamphlets. They're not teaching the truth. We the only ones out here teaching the Bible. Actually, we commanded to teach the Bible on the street. That's it's, right. it's not even a choice. That's right. So if you claim to be a man of the Lord, you're supposed to be out there doing the work. You got you got to get on the streets and teach. That's right. It says, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there is two and two, one against another. Yeah, one against another. Son of bitches. Son of a bitches. Sons of bitches. Ain't that how you do the right way sons to say it? Sons of bitches. So you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know about the, uh, the, 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 the meat and McDonald's food? Yeah, oh, great. yeah. I don't fuck with McDonald's. That's real, man. I it's know been going on for a long some, time, some man. Well, I only touch the fish. That was your fish, too? The fish? You know what that shit made of the fish? Because they make that fish. That's that There's G other shit in it. That's that GMO fish. Man, don't eat no McDonald's. Nothing. Not even a shake for Not even the coffee. <laughs> oh, you should do some research on their fries. <laughs> Bro, just McDonald's fries are not safe. Look. They're the chemicals they spray them with. Right. When we first came to the truth, I had I did an experiment in my garage. I put a fish sandwich in my garage for three years. That motherfucker still looked the same. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> McDonald's food does not decompose. Right. It still oh. looked the same like it was just... Yeah, that stuff real. Yeah, don't eat the rest around. Huh? No, yeah, yeah. I, I recommend not to eat none of them. Now, maybe the restaurant, but fast foods. Yeah. Some fast food restaurants, they got plastic in the bread. Yeah, you got to pray over that, man. <laughs> they put plastic eat. in the bread. <laughs> like Subway came out, had a big thing. It's like, we no longer have plastic in our bread. <laughs> like they made a press, you know, a press release on it. Yeah, Subway. They admitted to it. Yeah, we just kept plastics in the bread. 
I'm like, oh, that sounds fucking delicious. I don't know why I'm thinking uh, Little Caesars did the same thing. No, look, I heard it was, it was in there, Little Caesar dope. too? Yeah. God damn. That's crazy. Plastic. You know, plastic is toxic as hell. Just saying. Bro, you know, like, you know the Little Caesars, they had to do some shit to get that price down to $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, they got, uh, they got, they got plastic, uh, plastic, bro. I had like, a little plastic shit and, uh, Sauce, like table sauce, pretty much every guy. Yeah, pretty much. They got glass and table sauce. Too. Yeah, we just talking earlier. You know that food coloring, the red, the red, what's that, that shit? The red and the yellow five and the red thirty, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that comes from petroleum. What's plastic it comes from petroleum. Exactly. It makes you go crazy, actually. They said it, it takes four hundred years for uh, plastic to decompose. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole time it's still a bit. Stretch. Oh yeah. Plastic. Plastic. Yeah, plastic. They only made plastic a hundred years ago, so I mean nobody can live to four hundred, but I mean that's yeah. I'm gonna be here for a minute. That disgusting shit inside your body to to the rest of your life. Hey, our bodies can do some shit though. We can digest some shit. Ramen noodles got man, that's so delicious, but they got MSG in it. I fuck with that. S and this and Nissan, whatever. I can't oh. pronounce it. That shit, but that got no they got no S and whatever. It doesn't? Nah. Oh, no wonder it's Nissan. so disgusting. That shit. Now nah, I'm talking about the little square packs though. Oh yeah. The uh, Nissan, oh those are awful. I eat the cups. Oh. I was about to say. That shit tastes a lot better. Bro, you get that top ramen, you like, uh. That shit is trash. That all these ramen? Oh, that shit is horrible. You don't like that? Oh, that shit is nasty, bro. I gotta get that Marichons. What's the one? I ain't over. I will, yeah. I used to crunch up on my mixer. Two cans of tuna bread. Hey, he's making bro prison breaks. Yes, exactly what I'm making. I'm making mine sweet bread. I'm making my sweet bread. I'm making my sweet bread. Who the fuck came up with this shit? Everybody, just, everybody got a different way of eating ramen. No two people eat ramen the same way. I wish these fucking buses would leave for real. Loud ass shit. Loud ass Loud ass shit. 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 I don't even take these people serious. That was scripture that was fired though. That uh I, I got that scripture is stuck in my head right now. So, that be disquieted by their madness and their fooleries. So, oh. <laughs> we gotta get all the mother scriptures out. The uh the Ecclesiastes going to the fools. Like what's that scripture a fool can hold no knowledge? It's like a broken cistern that can hold no water. You spell my Ugh, gross. Gums an abomination. That shit should be painful. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I think gum is disgusting. I love kissing. Especially when you step on some gum, man. Oh, God. This is girl right there. Yellow girl. She give you a kiss. All your girls, but the, uh, it was a Tim Hortons. She give you a kiss. She violated. See, you got violated. You should have seen it, man. She was all over him. She was a bump down. Hit that. Oh, hell, she fuck. She's too bump down. She should be out here all the time. She could be up in the box. Oh, here comes your boy. He got the box of goods. He might have some goods. Actually, my headphones just broke. Oh, y'all got your headphones. What you got? I'm here. My headphones just broke, bro. What you got? You got the $5 joints? How much is it going for? Are these Bluetooth? Yup. Shut the fuck up. How much you want? Five? Five. 
What's the same? All the same. No, these ones. Puzzle. Save me some money, bro. I don't like spending more than five bucks for headphones. I'm just gonna break them. Like the last pair I got over him, I've been broke. I'll go to buy at least a pair of headphones last me a month. They all break easy as fuck. Hopefully that shit got a charge in. What's we you doing this here? That's some hook one. Oh, that's I got this one once I got Oh, for real? Oh, this one. And he got the wire, that neck shit. Bro, I don't like that shit you got put around your neck. Yeah. Oh, you got a script? You getting on track. We gotta get back on track. Oh. Oh, hell, that's on. Oh, that man, that's teeth. She trips, the teeth so big, she tripped over it. <laughs> she got the Bugs Bunny joints, bro. You're the Bugs Bunny, but he got his teeth stuck in the ground. Now, which way did he go, George? Oh, man, them teeth are fucking. Should take the skin off the top of it. It's like a can. She, bro, you, you, been in, uh, you gotta open up a can of spinach or something? Call your girl up. <laughs> got the one you put in. What's up, homie? Oh, go ahead. I know these people out here is a joke, bro. That isn't really a joke. This is Ciroc 21 and 14. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Oh, the inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Go ahead. He will hold no knowledge as long as he lives. He will hold no water as long as you live. So there's some people out here, you can't even teach anyway. They just, the Lord made you to be a fool for your whole life. You know, we teach you anything goes one in, in one ear, out the other. You can't hold no knowledge. So that's why, too, you got to know who you can teach and who you can't teach. And most people, you just can't be taught. Because a fool will hold, is there, is there more to that? Yeah. A fool will hold no knowledge. It's like a a broken pot or a, like a glass with a hole in it. There you go, Romans 1 and 28. And as even, and even as they did not like, like, they did not like to retain right, the good. most high in their knowledge. Yeah, they didn't retain nothing. They didn't want to. They didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it was like monsters. Monsters. Creeps. Creeps. What's up? I call them fucking. Uh, what's up? Goblins. They're like fucking ghouls and goblins. Mm -hmm. We ain't making this up, man. We ain't making this up. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do with these people? They just gotta get burned up. That's right. What else is there to do with it? What do you think the Lord gonna do with all y'all? Huh? He just gonna let y'all just keep going around being demons? That's right. He gonna burn y'all up. Yep. That's right. Can't wait, he. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. <laughs> Shit. 
like the Lord's just gonna let these people just continue in their madness forever and ever. You know? Okay. You got a church already? You got all the church. I don't know. Malachi 4 and 1, for behold, oh, the day perfect. cometh that shall burn as an oven. Oh, so that's in the Bible. So according to the Bible, it said that the Lord gonna bring fire to the earth. Because soon they're gonna be a thermonuclear holocaust. That, that, when you read in the Bible, you read about Judgment Day. People talking about Armageddon, Judgment Day. Well, that's coming. And the Lord going to destroy America by fire. And if you ain't right, you're going to get burned up. And you're going to die. You're going to melt. You said thermonuclear holocaust. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's got a nice sound to that's it. That's what it does, man. For real. A thermonuclear holocaust. Damn. <laughs> that just sounds terrifying. And it's all through the scriptures. You can read all through the Bible. It's, it's a reoccurring prophecy. It's about how the earth is going to be burned by fire. Because, you know, in the, uh, back in the old days, the Lord flooded the earth and killed everybody with water. But now the next death is going to be death by fire. And it's going to be beautiful. And if you, you, like I said, if you ain't right with the Most High, you're going to get burned up. Your eyeballs are gonna melt in your skull. Your tongue gonna melt in your mouth. Your bones are gonna be disintegrated. Your flesh gonna be melted. You're gonna just get melted. Hey, hey, and their spirit is gonna remain there. Yeah, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna remain there, man. Till it pleases the most high to send it back. Yeah, that one five minute, five minute disintegration or less than that. It can feel like years. I just don't want to experience it. I'm not even curious. Yeah, I don't, I'm not trying to not even curious. <laughs> not in the least bit. We're going to miss that burn by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> For real. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. Shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. And yeah, you ever see like a, you made a campfire and you kick the logs on the fire and it just falls apart, it's all burned up. You just like kick, see what he's like when they get burned up? And the sparks and shit just Yeah, shit, shit just, just kick, barely touch it, the leg falls off, crumbles. They're gonna be all crispy, all burn up. Little burn up babies. And the Lord don't care. If you're wicked, he'll burn you and your whole family up. He'll burn your little babies up. The, the Lord going to kill like you said earlier. Anybody that died, died because the Lord killed him. That's right. Young, That's right. old, small, baby, it don't matter. The Lord is the one that kills and he's the one that makes alive. He created death. Like, oh, God does that. God, God doesn't kill nobody. <laughs> he created death. Sounds just like him. He invented death. That was his creation. Here you go, Isaiah 45 and 7. Oh, shit. I form the light and create darkness. Who? I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, I, the Lord, do all these things. That's fire. Hey, the Lord creates peace and evil. So if there's any evil that happens, that was the Lord that did that evil. That's right. He made that happen. That's in the scripture. Taking your swine eating motherfuckers on that out of here. <laughs> what you selling there? Uh oh. What's up, homie? <laughs> hey, that's just fired up. Oh, the Lord doesn't create evil. <laughs> Man, who created it then? Right. Satan. They can always. I always try to give Satan credit for shit. Like Satan. Satan ain't do nothing. Yeah. It's, a, it's Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it? Right, shall there be evil in the city? So there's, there's the Lord. Oh, get that. You and Amos say Amos 5. The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Yeah, so any evil, because evil really, evil means uh, bad things happening to you. So yeah, that means you're getting fucked up. Well, you mentioned about the food stamp. Oh, yeah. They don't see that coming, man. Hey. You know, this people ain't watching the news or nothing, man. They think that shit's automatic. Yup, yup. You, you <laughs> see these dumbass niggas hanging around their girls much, 
This is tax time. Yeah. You know them bitches ain't getting no refund no time I, soon. I see somebody post a meme on that today, like uh, <laughs> talking about dudes kicking on girls around tax time. That's what they do. When the nigga turns into the perfect man then, for that few weeks, <laughs> he's suffering for that few weeks. <laughs> this motherfucker don't know. Dark days, just evil days is coming, man. Evil fucking days. They said they have no more funding for the food stamps if the, if the if the funding if the government is going to complete. Sounded like he was yelling, "Mortal Kombat!" Yeah, I got some demons. Man, I thought I heard something. Man, he letting the whole world know. Yeah, like banging bad now. Shit, they fuck around. He, he at the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> now you do that out there, they gonna come out after your ass out here. They keep them state troopers on deck. <laughs> For real. Shit. <laughs> yeah, Jake always thinks he's bad until that state trooper pops out, boy. Tackles your ass. <laughs> That's just some funny shit. Jake thinks he's so hard though, for real. He thinks he's fucking the baddest motherfucker on the planet. That dude weird. Make people weird out here. They stupid. This plane out stupid. Why they just? What do they do with their lives? You, this you gotta see my oldest brother right now. Why? He looks just. Looks just like a tr tranny prostitute. Oh my god. And he got them goddamn dreads extensions again. Looking just like Long a, ass a tranny. A tranny. Well, he got beads or he got the dreads? The dreads. <laughs> It'd be worse if he had the beads. Yeah, he had before too. <laughs> he did like the Rick James beads? Because he had one with the beads on, just one. Uh oh no. That's crazy. Shit, I used to have long hair, like, I didn't have no fucking dreads or no beads or no shit. Women love that, man. I used to have women whistling, honking at me, whistling at me. They like that feminine shit. Calves. I know. I just, fuck, I just, uh, I smash that. Hey, oh, I want to get that scripture, man. Hey, what's going on with um, Antonio Brown, man? Antonio Brown? He's a fucking fag. He's literally a faggot, man. He's all he hangs around nothing but sodomites, man. They called him a diva. They called him a really? diva. Fucking fag. Fucking fag. Who was the first dude you had problems? Lady Le 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 on Bell or something? This ass here for him is on the floor. He goes back to the floor. Really? The bingo's gonna get him. It's like uh <laughs> Hey, fuck the Bengals. I'm a Browns fan now. They got Baker. I switch, I sw switch sides. I, switch <laughs> sides. I got no loyalty to these fucking teams. I, wanna, I don't want to watch no boring. If I'm wa wasting my time, I'm watching some fucking. I'm watching the talent. Hey, that notice of that football shit, bro. That takes up too much time. Like, if you, if you really think about it, if you want to watch every playoff game and everything, you spending hours and hours... You, your, your TV puts your ass in captivity. Fuck it's that. like you in slavery. You got enslaved by the. You can't leave. These games last what three, four hours? I literally never watch the teams. I don't can't. Know. There's no way. I know because I know people. They gotta watch every college game. You watch oh. every college game. You don't have a life. Fuck but you can see how they use that sports to control people. Yeah. Yeah. These people, all the men, they stay. They're stuck in La La Land all day watching. They got to watch all the games. And then when they're not watching the games, they want to hear what Skip Bayless said about it. And, or ESPN. You know, they watch all the shows. Sports Center. It's like food service. Yeah, it's, that, people, they get captured. Uh, well, that's called the, the word entertainment. To me, it's to be tied down. They keep these men, and they keep your ass tied down with the sports. They, they building all these entertainment centers are everywhere now, man. Game rooms and as long as it's some pleasure and having fun, they're building shit up there. There's our way up north, man. They build a giant ass golfing thing, man, where you can get fucked up at, and golf, hit the ball as far as you can. Really? Just, just it's bad as fuck, really. 
But it, it, you go, got to go, and you can see how easy you can get caught up in it being there every day, man. Yeah. You know, it's dope as fuck. That's you it. can get drunk as fuck and it. just hit the ball as much as you want, man. Just right. hit the ball as hard as you want. While everybody else is getting drunk and fucked up too and eating and drinking. And there's a couch. He's, he's smooth. Has a big giant ass couch and you can just sit there and enjoy yourself. The lights is, the lights is bright as fuck up north off of Polaris. Yeah. You got to see it, man, to believe it, man. But now, you know, they got to, uh, I don't know if they're going to do it around Eastern or over Polaris. They're spending like a... Uh, like uh, like uh, like two hundred million dollars on uh, just entertainment for pleasure, all for pleasure, man. Game rooms and golf and bowling, and whatever bullshit. Swimming, there's gonna be a place you can go swim. Yeah. And it's gonna be open all year round for everybody. It's just, this is crazy. Man. They're gonna do everything they can to keep the fucking people asleep. Don't even know World War Three is about to pop up. Hell, they don't even know Trump what Trump is doing, signing all these goddamn executive orders, man. All they know is Trump's a racist. That's all they know. <laughs> Trump's a racist. They just repeat the shit they Trump's heard. Trump's a racist. Hillary Clinton's not? Yeah. Or the Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> nah, bro, she's a fucking great American. Right. She, ain't she the head now, the speaker? Yeah, Nancy, the clerk yeah. of the house. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. You know, Nancy Pelosi's a freak they that lead the lead the to air Can you imagine i could just i know this i i bet everybody don't fuck nancy pelosi i bet she's in charge of the oh, orgies damn right. she's in charge of the orgies yeah well she's probably just eating ass oh pussy, yeah you know you know yeah i can tell i can tell a freak when yeah. i look at one nasty bitch you can tell a nasty yep. bitch when you see one like yeah you said they're all racist yeah. how many black people's in congress or the senators well, hell they hate their own people anyway <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so they amongst their people. Ain't no Jake, so barely any Israelites at all in the Senate or the House. It's bitches. It's crazy. Bitches are nasty. These women is nasty. They really are. These women are nasty. They're nasty. 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 Fucking nasty. How the fuck you gonna admit you like getting fucked in the ass? That's oh, nasty. God, that's fucking nasty. That's nasty. See, they got. I ain't gonna say it. You can't man. clean the booty hole enough to fuck in it. The ass, an ass, you don't fuck in the ass. No, nah, they be douching it out though. They turn around like somebody's supposed to stop talking and shit. I know, they just say it, but it ain't some shit, you gotta say it. Fucking in the ass. You go into someone's asshole, that's not. Fucking in the ass. Like I said, uh. Wait, what's the scripture? Uh -oh. I didn't know what to say. Let me get it. You think you get it? Shit, like, that shit is nasty. Like she got her shit blowing. That shit is nasty. Fucking ass. Fucking ass. Yeah, that's weird, man. That's weird. That's some shit weirdos do. Why do you think the Lord prefer this place is Sodom? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Why you said bitches? Man, you can, you can look up Pornhub. Bitches on there eating asshole, licking butthole. Yeah, eating it, literally. They'll, they'll, eat. they'll take a dick in the ass and take it right out of the ass and stick it in their mouth. Ass to mouth. That's what they call it. That's common. Ass to mouth. That's ass nasty. Man. Niggas click on that video. That's hot. That's hot. And then they give that bitch a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> the shit molecules hey, floating around. Goodness. Shit molecules. Shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit molecules. Oh, man. I know I'm saying it wrong. Molecules. Molecules. Cues. Yeah. Molecules. Shit molecules. Shit uh, molecules. <laughs> nasty <laughs> motherfuckers. These are nasty motherfuckers. And the more, the scripture says shake the hand at them. You know? Yeah. Shake the hand at them. These some nasty motherfuckers. That's like back in the 1950s and shit. You see the, uh, tr I mean, there was no such thing as trannies. They was like, they, they were, circus or something. They was probably like, just Congress or just, it, just Senate. Yeah, secret the hidden, the yeah, hidden yeah, party. Right, yeah. Yeah, because they, uh, what's his name? J. Edgar Hoover was a tranny. Sure was, J. Edgar Hoover, yeah. Yep. Sure was. But a lot of, yeah, they, they were trannies, but they kept that shit a secret. <laughs> but back, but that, that ordinary people, like, and then, if this was 1950 and a tranny walked down the street, everybody would be cursing your ass out. Right, right. They'd probably beat you up. Oh, hell, Jamie Gum. Y'all know who Jamie Gum is? Uh-uh. Buffalo Bill. Signs of the Oh, OK. You don't remember how freaky yeah, yeah. he was? He was dressing up as women. Yeah. I, yeah He'd that, be a fucking local hero, man. Oh, yeah. You know, Jamie Gum. 
Shame to go home. <laughs> yeah. hey, he actually, that guy is a hero to these people now. Damn right, he's they, a they, hero. They now. got all kind of memes on the internet with that dude in it. Shame to go. Cause these people into some weirdo shit. They into some weirdo shit. Oh, mm -hmm. chop my dick off and put on a fucking mask of some human flesh. Right. You know, doing some fucking sick, twisted, the devil worship and shit. Right. They didn't just come up with that goddamn idea. They, put it, they found that shit out. They were doing it in real life. I told you they got uh, they, they got there's a Norse pagan. That's the article I read. But they have an actual skin suit where they would skin somebody live and they would wear their skin as a suit. And Visual they, license. Don't and they would do that, use that suit to you know, do their little spells and witchcraft. That's crazy. And they do all their little uh, rituals while wearing the skin suit. That's right. some fucking freak shit. That's crazy. That's like that Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit. Your boy, uh, what's his name? Leatherface? Leatherface. Wearing a human skin. A true story. That's true. Yeah, that's based that's on, that's, that's some sick shit out here. Yeah. They ain't make them Fucking Leather Leatherface. Face. Fucking West Virginia. Yeah, Leatherface, that was probably some fucking Jakes, some hillbilly inbred Jakes. Wrong turn. Oh, cool. Shit, that's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. That, that movie's for real scary. Like, you, yeah, I right. watched that shit, like, man, this is. Right. Because it's real, man. That's some real shit. People going on back roads and never come back out of here. Yeah. Who gonna report it? Who gonna report it? How, what you gonna report? <laughs> exactly. You can't find the spot. Right, it's right. just so deep back in that holler, boy. Evil. Girl right there, evil boy. As fuck. Evil as shit. You know she evil. <laughs> the wascally wabbit. He <laughs> 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 look like fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that wabbit. <laughs> My dude, too. Yeah, Elmer. That's boy. my dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit. I'll go ahead and hit you back. What's the matter with the rapper for? Romans 1 and 26. Uh, the main point I'm going to get is for this cause, God gave them up to the vow of affection. Yeah, vow of affection. I have people giving up the vow of affections out here. Everybody give into it. Everybody accepting homosexuals now. They accept trannies, transgenders, all that. Oh, good lord. Yeah, but anything, all kind, all manner of wickedness is now being accepted. You know what I'm saying? And being encouraged by this world. These people, they encourage you to be a tranny. Oh, what was it? State, some state, I think it was in New York, just legalized it so your birth certificate, even though birth certificates are off, you're not, that's just not in the scriptures. That's just a uh, saying that. Uh, your certificate of slavery. Receipt. Yeah, a receipt. But now they got birth certificates that say you got, and they're gender neutral. Don't say man or female no more. That's how weird it is out here, man. Strange as fuck. Strange as fuck. Like, oh, like uh, Kevin Hart. They said he wasn't allowed to do the Oscars because he made a, a, a joke about gay people 10 years ago or something. He's a big fan. They, they dug up, yeah, he's a big faggot as damn, so. But they dug up an old tweet on his ass from like 10 years ago. They said, oh, he's a homophobe. He made a tweet 10 years ago about homosexuals. So they, all this faggot, now, now if you come out against faggots, they gonna persecute you for uh, speaking bad about, you know, gay, so-called gay people. That's where we at right now. Uh, faggots are a protected class of people. Not only is it encouraged, they protect it. They got more rights than you. Here you go, 2nd Arthur 14 and 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy upon unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Yeah, this will be some greater evils. Oh, did you ever get that uh, Amos? <laughs> did you see that Amos 5? Oh, uh, the Lord, the Lord, Day Lord the days. Lord. Yeah, because that's some evil days. You know what I want right now, with that Emo's 5 or something? Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's coming with some evil days. Oh, I got a scripture for them evil days too, go ahead. Amos 5, 18 says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh, to what end is it for you? For the day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. The day, oh, so the scriptures say the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So you got a lot of people, I can't wait till the Lord returns. Okay, let's see. But when the Lord returns, you, 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 
probably gonna be the one getting jacked up, you know? Jesus, like your grandma. Come on, oh, I can't wait till the old Jesus come return to, to save his children. They have no idea what they saying. Yeah, they got no idea what they saying. They have no idea what's coming. No clue. Not even a clue. <laughs> But that's why, because they don't, they don't, because if we told grandma that today the Lord is darkness and not light, somebody, baby, you don't know what you're talking about. Lord, you better that, get out of my house. That ain't my Jesus. He better get out of my house with that blasphemy. They ain't trying, they ain't going to agree with that. <laughs> These Christians, they're not going to agree with that. The my eye today the Lord is love. That's what they're going to say. Because the Lord's second coming, the Lord's coming is to It's different. <laughs> you motherfuckers crazy. They crazy. They really crazy. Crazy. Especially the Israelite woman. She's fucking whacked. That bitch is gone. All these motherfuckers gotta do is just read the Lord's Prayer. Hey, they say the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. I mean, they don't. They say it all the time. They don't realize what they're asking for. Who was that? Was that um, Trump's wife that grabbed that? Yeah, Melania. Mm -hmm. Had she, no clue. She a damn stripper. Just have no hips, no ass, no nothing. Might be a fucking man of damn self. <laughs> Might just be one. Hey, you never know. You rich motherfuckers are some freaky nasty motherfuckers. Freaky nasty. The richer they get, man, it seems like the richer they get, the worse they get. Hey, but hey, she said the prayer though. She said that the Lord, that kingdom come, so hey, I'm not. She said it. Who pulled it out of the pocket for that? Somebody quoted the Bible? Yeah, somebody. I got the video too. I can't. I ain't watching so long. Those are the priests. Quote out the pocket. Probably Catholic. Jesus. Quote out the pocket. I'm like, whoa. Let's go. I think Trump also read uh, Psalms 133. I think. Obama, which one? He read so, the Psalms too. Yeah, I forget what Psalms Obama read. Right. Obama read a good one actually. Said, uh, I am God. He still. I forget, but it was, he actually sounded good when he read it. Well, you know, he said, you know, uh, Obama was a good speaker. You know what I mean? He comes the way he talks. He was prayerful, just like yeah. He was just a good. He he was good for speaking. He trained for it. He trained. He trained. He trained. Oh, uh, Trump's the total opposite of Obama. I mean, actually, they're exactly the same. Yeah, Trump's beautiful. It is beautiful though, it's right? Because he is. ain't getting up there and sugarcoating nothing. Yep. He's just talking shit. I've been waiting for something like just that. Just talking man. shit. I've been waiting for something like that. We should have known the Lord was going to give us something like that. Hey, right. Well, that never seen that coming, man. Never. Well, actually, we didn't know it was going to be Trump. No, nah, we ain't no nothing like that. Yeah, we, we gave us Trump? Right. For real? Right. We getting Trump out Honestly, of I thought something like Bush was going to come back. Yeah, you get tired of like Romney and Bush, yep. but we got Trump. I thought something bro. like Bush was going to come back. Bush was hardcore. He straight up said, you either with us or against us. Yeah. And he man, was talking about everybody, man. Hey boy, Trump done put Bush to shame. Yeah, it sure did. He put him to shame. I didn't sure think it was did. possible. It sure the fuck did. I did not think that was possible. I yeah. thought GW had the, the GOAT on lock. I for sure he was the best president. That was Bush. Bush was foul as fuck. Too. Yeah, he was foul. Man, see motherfucker. Trump smacking asses. And, and George Bush asses. claimed he don't even like Trump. I know it's fucking. Yeah. That was good too. A couple more scripts. We can wrap it up. Oh, I wanted to get my script. Was you done with that? I was wanting to read this scripture for like an hour. Did you already read that one? We talking about the day of the Lord. Hey, the scriptures say that the kingdom of heaven's ahead. We supposed to pray that the kingdom come. It's Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye, well, fuck that buzz. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. They shall be afraid, pangs. And sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, 
they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Hey, check this out. Behold, the day the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Ooh, that's fire. They say he's going to lay this land desolate, bro. Because you know the Lord about to destroy America. According to the scriptures, y'all ain't got a whole lot of time left out here. It they act like it's not even real. It's just annoying. Like, like y'all, oh, pfft. this nigga, they crazy. Okay. You don't got to look at you. It's like we're not here. No, we a, out here. Bunch of Bible extremists. <laughs> hey, we are extremists, though. We're very extreme. We should look the word extreme up, actually. Yeah. Uh, Extremism. America's fucked. Uh, they, uh, America, I mean, America. But Russia just made that new nuke that, that uh, make the uh, America's defense weak. You know what I'm saying? Worthless. Uh, uh, Vanguard or something like that. Hyper, hypersonic missile. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you, all you American people think America is the oh, biggest, baddest uh, military. But Russia's going to destroy this place. That's what the Lord can't. The Lord can't to save the Israelites. So that's the Lord's people. No, he only came for Israel. That's it. That's it. But that's actually a lot of people. But hey, let me continue with the scripture. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. All right, because when the Lord brings that destruction, when the nukes start dropping, the nukes is going to blot out the, uh, the sun. You ain't going to see the sun, the moon, the stars. All you're going to see is fire and smoke. The stars of heaven and the constellation there shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and is going forth and the moon shall not cause their light to shine. That's from that destruction and that fire. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause that arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Oh, here's a good scripture. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold wedge of Ophir. So we're gonna be like gold, you know. What I mean? Like you said, the women are gonna be running to it. A real man gonna be like gold in that day. So the woman gonna need a man to protect him from that evil. And ain't gonna be none of this madness y'all talking. I'm talking about oh, I don't like him. Oh, he's old. Or uh, you know, shout out to myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But ain't gonna be no excuse. Oh, I don't. He's he he. I don't like the way he look. He's not cute. Oh no, you gonna be begging. You know what I mean? You gonna take whatever you can get. Uh. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of Hosts in the day of His fierce anger. Ooh, that's fire. I, that Russian missile man. Yeah. That motherfucker. Damn near touching 20,000 miles an hour. 20,000 miles an hour? That's mine, man. How far away is Russia? Shit. I was just trying, you can just do the math on that. How far it takes a month to take a year. 20,000 miles an hour, they say that's, that's a mile, a little bit over a mile a second. <laughs> so it get here, it probably get here in less than a half hour. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. more than a mile a second? That's crazy. Damn! Their, That's fast. Their uh, bombers to Venezuela. Yep. I think they did it to uh, Cuba too. Nuclear capable. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yep. And plus the submarines, they got submarines. Yep. They don't need a base. The submarine is the base. Yep. Yeah, China and the Arctic too, I think. No, what, not China. Russia dominates the Arctic. It's actually. It's North Korea, I think. Right. Oh, dominates. Yeah, Russia dominates that shit. Yep. And they started uh, the Arctic stuff before everybody. Yep. They said America's like 20 years behind? Yeah. 20 years behind? Russia seen it coming. That's a... That's a destruction, man. These people have no... Whoever got the high ground wins in battle. Woo. So I guess whoever got the North Pole wins. Now let me read the rest of this real quick. And it shall be as the chase road, and as the sheep that no man take it up, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. 
Ooh, that's fire. No fat bitches either. <laughs> oh, yeah. So these women gonna get ravished out here. Y'all, these women right now, they walk around all happy, go lucky. They ain't got a care in the world. Wait, wait till the evil day comes. They gonna, you gonna deprive them. They gonna be no more proud, liberal women no more on the day of the Lord. Y'all, all, y'all, a lot of y'all gonna get ravished. They think it's a big deal out of women. It's majority women that got the house. Oh yeah. You know? They running shit. Yeah. This is her kingdom. They live in high, man. They queen of heaven. <laughs> hey, these bitches ain't getting that, uh, the, the EBT. What was it? That's the point on that scripture, though. I, I just pray to God this government can not open up on time soon. Man, I pray, yeah. That's all yeah. you can do is pray. Now, nah, Trump ain't playing. He want that wall. You see how they say the parts just piling up in trash? Yeah. Motherfuckers can't. How you can't even that on the government, though? That's on you, these filthy ass people. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I agree, I agree. You know, you sure agree. you need a government for shit like that. Yeah. Motherfuckers be able to clean up after themselves. Shows they just filthy anyway. Hey, Phil. Right. Baruch 4 and 24. Like as now the neighbor, neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is to come upon you from the side. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction, Ooh, and shalt fire. tread upon his neck. Ooh, that's fire. My delicate ones have gone through rough ways Ooh, and were taken away as a flock caught in the, of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall remember of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice over thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that's received thy son. This is a miserable ass city. <laughs> and the Lord gonna destroy it. And he gonna give us power. And we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, what's the scripture say? We gonna wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Gonna wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. That sounds like some massive murderers. Doing a tap dance like Esau just <laughs> he rubs it on him and shit. You know? That's Esau. What's that uh <laughs> shit? What's your boy with Gregory Peck did the tap dance? You'll be tap dancing in the blood, just tap, tap, tap. It's a tap blood just sprinkling everywhere. <laughs> Damn. Cause you know we're gonna have fun, bro. When the Lord gets us our power, man. We're gonna be having fun. Children with a new toy. You know how kids are when they get a new toy, man. That's, and if, yeah, like right now, we ain't got that killing spirit. Like, well, we like sheep right now, but soon we're gonna be like lions, you know? And the Lord gonna put that spirit on it, like the scriptures say in Psalms 137, it said, Happy is he to take the Edomite babies and smash the babies against the stone. The Lord gonna put it in our spirit. Then we're gonna be smashing the babies of stone. When he gives us our power, we'll eat them my babies. So who, who right now can just take up a baby to start smashing? <laughs> the Lord gotta put that in your spirit. Shit, if I can get away with it, he might. Like, you know, you know if the Lord say do it, we can get away with it. Yeah, it. but if you can get away with it now. You do it. Yeah, I definitely do it. Eat them my baby, easy. Israelite babies is too ba goddamn cute. They gonna give us free reign on these little devils. Israelite babies are cute as shit. Right? Yeah. Hey, they little eat my babies, they're little demons. They even look like Yeah, yeah. Psalm 68, 22. It says, the Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea, that they that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies. Oh, our foot will be dipped in the blood of our enemies. What is that talking about? Hold on, hold on. God, that's not my Jesus. My Jesus would never do that. Oh, but he would though. What a, uh, what did the Lord say? He said that his his vesture was dipped in blood. That's in the book of Revelation. His garment was was uh, dipped in blood, 
and he treaded a wine press of his fierceness of his anger, or something like that. Who got it? Who got it? Psalm 68. Actually, that's 68. No. Actually, that's a good chat. That's a good UFO. Psalm 68. What? Read that again. I got to remember. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, and I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea. Because, you know, the first one, that was the uh, uh, story of Exodus. Yeah, the Exodus. There's going to be a second Exodus, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It says, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, and the tongue of thy, of thy dogs in the same. The tongues of the what? And thy dogs in the same. Yeah, that's a fire. I didn't realize that was in Psalm 68. That's a good one. I'm gonna remember that script. Our feet will be dipped in the blood of the wicked. Whew. That is fire, man. That's how you know that's a manly book. The Bible is a book for men. It's a real man's book. It's a manly But most of these men, they don't even know how to read. They don't even read. They think reading, like once again, if you, if you talk about reading, I'm studying and reading. They look at you like you're stupid. Like, you're the actual retard because you're the one who reads. That makes you stupid. That's the kind of world we live in. If you read, that makes you the That makes, I don't get it. It's a, yeah, it's fundamental. We talking about fundamentals. These people got no fundamentals. These people are assholes. Look my girl right here. Dad, we're going to say peace, farewell, shalom. Lord willing, some of y'all is edified, comforted by the scriptures. That was a comforting lesson. Hey, cause you, hey, that's why it's not all about learning. I mean, it's good to learn. Hey, one of the main reasons you teach is for the comfort. I know that sounds weird, though, when you say that. I mean, for real, though. You know, I be watching these videos on stuff I already know about. Like, I already know the breakdown, but I'm gonna watch the video anyway. Why? Because that, that word comforts your spirit. It's starting to rain. Bye, right, damn. I'm gonna say Shalom.